This is WYMT Mountain Sports, your home for the Kentucky Wildcats and local high school sports. Good morning to you. Kentucky routes Mississippi State Wednesday night 74-56 to improve its season record to 28-0. And, oh, and once again, it was a highlight reel. Big games from Car Anthony Towns, Trey Lyles, Aaron Harrison. They propelled the Cats, but John Calipari still sees inconsistencies in his team. He is aware that the way the coaches want the players to play is tough, and he had one message for them after the game. I just said, look, I can fight you for the next 40 days if that's what you want, and I will fight you. Or you just play how you're capable of playing, which means we've, they know what we want them to do and how we want them to play. But it's really hard to play that way. It's really hard to play with that much intensity. It's really hard to focus on every possession. It's really hard to not have breakdowns. The Appalachian Athletic Conference Tournament tipping off this week. We'll get to some highlights next half hour. Right now, the conference announcing its regular season awards, and here they are leading the way on the men's side. Union head coach Kevin Burton is the AAC Coach of the Year for the second straight season. Burton has led the Bulldogs to back-to-back -to -back regular season conference championships during his three years in Barberville. Staying with the men, the Bulldogs posting four players on the all-conference first team. Senior guard Dominique Hagan, senior forward Deontay Johnson, junior forward guard J.D. Tucker, and senior forward Fitzgerald White. Sophomore Gerard Newby gets defensive player of the year, while David Kapinga is named to the all-freshman team. On the women's side, junior center Lydia Nash and junior guard Haley Perkins are first team all-conference. All right, now to some high school basketball. More than 1,000 votes cast for the UPI top plays of the year poll and after everything was tallied down we have our top five here we go coming at number five the girls mountain classic jc cotton to courtney woods that's your game winner clay beats harlan in the third place game more clay at number four trey farmer the off balance three pointer to force overtime where the tigers would eventually beat south world on the road number three emily kidd are you kidding me she saves the ball from going out of bounds and Brandy Morrow there to sink the basket. That's a game winner versus Prestonsburg. Back to the Mountain Classic for number two, Cameron Justice up to Evan Hall. That's pretty good. They beat Clay in the boys' semifinals in that game. And the play, the fans have voted the UPI play of the year, Jess Sanders of Bell County. That's just a sick pass. Let's take another look at it. Just more than 27% of the votes. Uh, congrats, Jess, providing us with this this season's U Pike number one play of the year. All right, now to some highlights. Moving down the road in London to the 50th District Championship between Whitley County and Corbin last night. Let's go third quarter. Whitley down nine. Lady Colonels moving it up quickly up the court. Senior Taylor Dingus up and in. Whitley pulls within seven. Corbin, though, calm, cool, collected. Trying to stay focused in this game. Megan Blackburn, mid-range game, working. Lady Hounds with the lead. Here come the Lady Colonels, though. Not backing down without a fight. Savannah Sizemore, three ball, goes from straight away. But Corbin claims the 50th district title at three-peat, 79-65 over Whitley County. That's first look at sports this morning. Enjoy your morning.